Hi friends, welcome to uh, the channel for Sweet Bay Healing Co. I'm Jay and I'm really excited to do this new moon reading for you all. Um, so for me, new moons are all about uh, preparing and setting intentions, uh, giving ourselves some like guidance and focus and focus so that we can um, have a plan as we draw the power towards like the full moon. So um, we enact the plan on the new moon and we well, sorry, we come up with the plan in the new moon and then we enact it um, all the way through to the full moon. And the full moon, we spend a lot of time like heightening um, the manifestation power that we get from like that full power of the moon. So um, just, you know, sit back, relax. I'm going to ask you to take a couple of deep breaths and just pick one of these three Oracle decks or as many, you know, if you are drawn to more than one, that works too. Um, but really just see which one you're drawn to. Maybe you're more of like a visual person. So besides the deck covers, maybe the stones will help out. We got a lapis lazuli here, um, snowflake obsidian, and then we got a carnelian over here. So yeah, just go ahead and take those deep breaths and I'll meet you at the, um, at your group. Okay, group one, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna move that to the center because that just feels pretty good. Okay, so this here is, I believe it's the like love, the journey of love deck by Alana Fairchild. I'll put it in the uh, description. Um, it's a really beautiful deck, check it out. Um, so what we're going to do is just take a look at like what kind of, um, which area of life would be, could use a lot of, um, could use some intentions set, some goal setting done. And then let's take a look at like how you can achieve this goal. So we'll just flip it over. Okay. 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 So yin yang lover, the swan, the temple, the choice. So I'm going to just read these intuitively. Aren't these gorgeous? These are, um, yes. Yin yang lover. Um, I think this is speaking to people who are just trying to like manifest, uh, you know, their soulmate or twin flame, um, life partner. And, what is going to like help out with that is actually, you know, it's a tried, I mean, it's a kind of cliche and tried and true, but like uh, the swan, right? To me, this is like a very simplistic um, card marking kind of like solitude. And what is actually going to help you is just doing the inner work, getting to know yourself, getting to know what you want in a partner, uh, getting to know your strengths and your weaknesses, like what you have to offer someone, um, what parts of you someone is going to need to love unconditionally. Um, and like really figure out like what you want your life to look like and how that person can fit that. And then like the temple. Um, so things maybe to stop doing, um, you know, I'm just going to go right off the bat. Like I, I don't need you guys out here worshiping like anyone uh, or, um, really putting like your happiness all into like this one person or multiple people, um, to like fulfill all your needs, like know that like, it's perfectly okay to try to get your needs met through other people. Like that's why we as humans who are social beings, um, you know, that's why we connect and we mate and we do all that stuff. Um, but just make sure you're not putting people on pedestals. Like, um, these people are just human. Um, they're not any better or any worse than you are. They're just imperfect beings and just treat them with love and expect love back from them because you deserve nothing, nothing less. So, um, yeah, just don't put anyone on pedestals. Um, and don't, I don't know, don't walk around these, like, um, uh, you know, don't go, go, don't, don't go through Tinder, um, or hinge or wherever people are hanging out now and, just look at yourself as if you have slim pickings. Don't do that to yourself. You have so much to offer someone. Um, and 
yeah so just remember that okay and then amplify amplify so things that you're already doing that you should probably continue doing more of to get to your goal and um i think this is just a reminder of it's kind of like a co uh, the combination of the two of these this is just a reminder of like you have options you have choices be discerning um, continue to be kind of picky. Don't settle. Don't lower your standards. Know what you want um, and look for that. And when you find it, you, like you'll feel it. You'll know. So uh, don't settle. Okay. So that's the message for group one. Awesome. Thank you. I'm so excited that you came and uh, checked out this reading. If you want to hear more from me, please uh, check out my um my website i also have a soundcloud and i have a blog so those are going to be in the uh, description box box check out those links uh, i definitely plan to be doing new moon readings every month and we'll probably be tossing a, a couple of readings here and there in between and if there's something you specifically want me to do some cards on let me know i'm more than happy to see if we can make that happen all right see you next time bye Okay, group two, welcome to your reading. Oh, I feel like I got like a burst of energy between these uh these two readings here. Sorry. Okay. Yes, um, welcome to the reading. Um, again, this is just kind of like a guideline to help you with your intention setting uh, for this new moon cycle. Um, first cards, let's actually turn all of these bad boys over. Okay, so they're all reversed interesting i'm gonna flip them since they're all reversed because i think that just means my deck was upside down okay okay awesome okay friends so it looks like self-care rejuvenation um recuperation that's all like an intention so if you were drawn to this group you're probably someone who could use a break maybe use a vacation and um this moon cycle is you know all about planning on how to like do that for yourself like how to give yourself that uh, time to rest and recover um so something that you might want to consider doing is ooh, exchanging gifts okay so this is wonderful. So if you know any friends who do like um, a couple of things are coming up here, if you know any friends who do like energy healing, if you know any other readers, um, people who do massage, um, people who make soaps, like really decadent bath soaps and stuff, um, see if you guys can trade. So either really patron those people in your community who are doing um, healing work um, and exchange your money for their, uh, their services or their gifts, or if you also have a gift um, or are a healer, like inner, like maybe try a barter situation. Um, so really this is just like, if you haven't considered um, how to get these restorative practices in your life because of money being a problem or time being a problem, see if bartering with folks will help. Um, so that's one message there. Um, yeah, I, I like that. I think that's where we're going to go with this. Okay. And then new life. So like maybe things to stop doing. So um, I think there's uh, maybe some escapism that people are um, really leaning into. And there's nothing wrong with a bit of fantasy and a bit of dreaming. Like I am fully on board with manifest your best life. Like I'm here for it. Um, but also you might not need to escape this particular version of your life you might just need to uh, enhance it or subsidize it subsidize it um, just um, improve it by making sure you can enjoy it so whatever you need to do to like improve your energy and to feel better and to enjoy this life maybe that's what you should be focusing on instead of um, focusing on how to get a brand new life maybe this life isn't actually that bad you just need more time and space to enjoy it or you need to add or let go of something to do that so uh, before you rush off and uh, try to completely change your world maybe slow down and see if there are things that you haven't found about it that make it amazing 
So there's that. And then things to keep doing because it's working for you here and now. So being being in the present is really working for you. And I think this kind of goes along with this, like slow down and really enjoy um, every moment of your life. Because especially when we're so busy, life passes us by. We don't have a lot of time to um, really appreciate what's around us, really appreciate our accomplishments um, and the things that bring, bring us pleasure on the daily. So slow down, be present and be grateful and uh, express gratitude for what you do have. It's going to like, it's going to change things. So like if you don't journal, uh, don't have a gratitude journal, maybe that's a goal to set this month is to, um, you know, set up a gratitude journal and journal as often as possible in that. So there's, there's a little tidbit there. Okay. So that's it for group two. Um, beautiful, lovely reading. If you have any suggestions for other readings that we could do here on this channel, let me know. I'm excited to do what I can. I know I will be doing more new moon readings. I'm so passionate about um, the goal setting that you can do at the new moon to like help guide you through the moon cycle. I will definitely be doing these readings monthly, but I don't mind doing a couple of readings in between. So if you have ideas on things to do, let me know. I'll be glad to do it. And if you want to hear more from me, uh, head over to the description box. I have um, a blog. I have a SoundCloud account uh, where we do like uh, meditations. Um, I think a podcast will be coming later, but definitely we have like some guided meditations and stuff going on over there. So check that out. And um, you'll also see the website for my main page. And that's where you can book readings and such with me. All right. Awesome. So glad to have done this. And I look forward to... Um, seeing you guys again on this channel. All right. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. Um, so this is another, another Alana Fairchild deck. Um, it is the sacred rebels Oracle and it's like one of my favorite decks ever. Um, okay. So for your new moon, um, intention setting, goal setting reading, um, here's what we've got. I do want to like, maybe I shouldn't warn you, but I do want to warn you some weird funky shuffling happened with this deck. Um, and so it was all based on intuition that these kind of like, I mean, they're all based on intuition, but, um, instead of pulling them like in a set order, um, a few came out at a time. They all felt like they needed to be a part of this reading. And so what actually happened is like, I intuitively just placed them where I thought, like, from the feeling of the card, um, where they should go for you. So hopefully I got it right. And this reading makes sense because this was a whole different, um, shuffling pattern than the previous two readings. So, I mean, let me know how this worked out for you folks who picked group number three. Um, I love feedback. This is a collaborative channel. Um, yeah, constructive criticism uh, is appreciated. All right. So, Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. I really love the, the cards in this deck. Okay. So group three, this looks like um, the intention can be a, a couple of things. So what is already with you? Um, immediately what I thought of was um, actually self-confidence. That's what I was thinking. So if you pick this group, maybe that's um, something that you want to be working on uh, this month. But also um, it could be working on like building your intuition or increasing your intuition. Um, so just intuitively tuning in and knowing like what you already have as far as like gifts, uh, as far as knowledge, like really honoring your, like your sacred wisdom and your embodied knowledge. Like that might be something that you're working on this month or that you would be really supported in working on this month. So self-confidence and just building um, a trust in yourself and um, your own embodied self-knowledge and whatnot. So um, that's what you would be. You could be working on this month if that resonates with you. You're going to be really supported in that. Um, so what to add? Oof, come to life. Okay, so we need you to be feeling alive. Um, if you haven't been doing 
um, things that you know you love. Um, and maybe you were just too busy. Maybe you were just in a funk or you were depressed and you just weren't feeling like doing that. This is really encouraging you to pick back up some of those hobbies that you were doing before. Um, little by little, spend some time just doing those things that make you feel alive and things that make you feel happy to be alive. Whatever that is, add more of that to what you're doing this month. Um, so there's that. Oh gosh, beyond the mind, the heart beats. Whoa. All right, just give me a minute here. So I think this is kind of um, like a similar message to the uh, come to life card in that um, they're really encouraging you to get into your body, I guess, like this card I was saying here. So really get into your body, right? So again, a lot of us, like we really, we're in a society that, um, well, at least if in American society, that like really um, urges people, I mean, we're just kind of like logically minded. So like rational science, like all that stuff, nothing wrong with it, not knocking it. But this is really saying, hey, like really get into your body, really tune into your emotions, really tune into how you're feeling, right? Just um, leave leave some of the rational, logical, um, uh, I guess like top level, um, heady, cerebral stuff. Um, kind of just put that on the back burner this moon cycle and tune into you your feelings, your embodied self, um, your physicality, um, really get some stretching in, meditating, humming, singing, any of that, like just stuff that gets you into your body. Do more of that. Do way less of like overthinking things, rationalizing things, um, and trying to logic your way out of situations. Um, yes. So there's that. And then what to do more of? Okay, so group three, you guys are like the master manifestors. Um, so this is just urging you like you're going to be so well supported um, in your manifestations this month. So if you don't know how to manifest, uh, you probably have already done it. And you just didn't know that's what it was. But if you do know how to manifest, yeah, keep rocking it. You're like a pro and you're going to have that extra oomph behind it this month. So keep those manifestations um, up like the manifestation practices. Keep doing that. Um, and just know that you have a ton of support for that this month. There's always support for that, but I don't know what it is about this, uh, this new moon, but you guys group three, um, those manifestations are going to come through because you've got the extra power behind it. All right. So that's that reading. Um, uh, I've been really excited to have done this reading for you all. Um, I do know that I'm going to be doing new moon readings every month. I really love these. I really love um, intention setting around the new moon. And so I'm always happy to do some readings. And um, if you guys want some support with that, I'm glad to do it. Like as far as like, if you want another reader to like help you out with what to uh, set for your intentions, your girl's here. I'm excited to do that. Um, check me out. I have a blog. I have a SoundCloud um, and I have a main website where you can book readings with me or coaching. I do that as well. Um, so check me out there. All of that will be in the description. And if you have any suggestions about what to, um, what other readings to do, um, cause I'm definitely going to be doing at least one reading a month. It's going to be the new moon reading, but there are other readings, um, that you would like done as far as like a public group readings. Let me know, um, some ideas of things you'd like, and I can see if I can make that happen on this channel. Um, I, I'm excited that you're here and I hope you're back next month for the next new moon reading. And um, until then, bye.